Our next speaker is a Calgary-based actor, producer, writer, and model. She began her career in, the, in late 2020 and has become a mainstay on Alberta's film scene. Please give it up for Jocelyn Chug. Wow, Telly, that's going to be a tough one to follow. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, this is a little intimidating. <laughs> I have spent the last four years of my life forcing myself in front of, and more recently behind the lens, of as many Alberta filmmakers as I can. I'm quite surprised to be up here sharing the stage with so many established human beings. I'll do my best to keep you entertained, but if you have any complaints, please give them to this guy. That's Calvin. We met last year when I forced myself in front of his lens at SIF. He reached out to me a while back about doing this, and since I'm still new to the film industry, I'm incapable of saying no. So here we are. Now, what does the word lens mean to me? When I think of the word lens, I think about the community of people I have grown to love in the Alberta film industry who work together surrounding the lens to make film projects happen. The type of people who love what they do, who support each other, who collaborate, who help, who will spend 12 hours shooting a six minute short film outside in the freezing cold at night, and who over the last four years of my life have helped me grow to be the best, most genuine version of myself ever. Because that wasn't always the case for me. Wow, I am really regretting using this photo right now. <laughs> this is grade nine Joss. I had no clue who she was, but this is the year where I decided that I was gonna be an actor. When I told people I wanted to act, they usually said that was unattainable and that I'd have to get a real person job. So I got a real person job. Just kidding. After high school, I had no clue what I wanted to do other than act. So I lived, I was in and out of school, I played, I had a million jobs, I had a baby, and I had a lot of fun, but I never really felt like me. And then four years ago, that acting dream bubble that I had lived in my brain since grade nine, it exploded, and I decided now was the time to do it. So with no experience, no knowledge of the industry, no connections, just a brain full of delusions and hope, I enrolled in some acting lessons and off I went. Now this was when my relationship with the lens started, my first headshot. Anyone in the film industry will tell you not to get your friend to take your headshot. But my lifelong best friend happens to be a talented photographer. When I told her I wanted a headshot so I could start submitting to film projects, she said, hell yeah, let's do it. And then the coolest thing happened. I started submitting that headshot to casting calls and I was introduced to the world of self-tapes. I got to act out real scenes in front of my own lens. I got to be in a, a gazillion different characters all the time and it was awesome. Now I'm gonna take a second here to thank someone who's been in my life for the last six years, a person who made me believe that I belong in front of the lens. That's my therapist. When I lost my job during the pandemic, I was trying to figure out what the hell to do next. She asked me what I wanted to do as a kid, and I said I wanted to act. She said, yes, do it. That was the first of many green lights. I made it my mission to get in front of the lens as many times as humanly possible. I submitted for everything, and I started booking. I was acting and modeling in front of the lens, and with each new project came a new group of incredible people who supported me, helped me, and for some wild reason kept putting me in front of the lens. So this is my number one favorite time in front of the lens. Not just because I got to drive a badass car around Drumheller for three weeks, but because I got to make a film with some of the best human beings who I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Now this process hasn't all been rainbows and butterflies, so here's some hard parts about being in front of the lens. Constant rejection, unstable pay, unpredictable schedules, knowing that not everyone is gonna like you, and having no control over how often you actually work. Now that last part really hit me, so I thought if I wanted to make sure I could work consistently, maybe I'd try to start making my own projects. That's how I worked, how I jumped into the world of producing. 
again with no experience and no knowledge, but this time a lot of support from my film family. Producing gave me a whole new perspective of the lens, the one that made me appreciate the full process and fall in love with storytelling, so much so that I decided to write my own script. With the help of some awesome people, I developed a story, and with the help of another group of awesome people, I got to see that story come to life through the lens. That was a pretty unreal moment. Okay, now bear with me with this slide. I don't really have any idea what I was thinking here, so I think the colors represent the different people I've worked with, and they work together to collectively make me fall in love with the lens, which is that weird heart-shaped lens there. Okay, so we're almost done. <clears throat> I asked some Phil friends what the word lens means to them. This is what they said. A medium with which to capture the moments of truth. Just gotta make people feel comfortable enough to stand up and go for it. Seeing the world through the eyes of an artist and capturing the emotion and essence of the moment and to catch a glimpse of life outside of our own. Now the cool thing about lenses is that they're continuously evolving, and so are we. When I say we, I mean the Alberta film industry. I've been fortunate to see this industry boom over the last four years. We've had some huge projects shoot up here, and the indie scene has really taken off. Now, this photo was captured by my very last headshot session. It's not the photo I used professionally, don't worry, but it is my favorite. When I see this woman, I see someone who knows who she is, who's comfortable in front of the lens, and a woman who's excited as hell about the film industry and her role in it. I can't wait to see what comes next through the lens of Alberta Film. I've said this a lot, and I 100% believe it to be true. This is the only, only the beginning for film in Alberta. It's going to be big, it's going to be awesome, and I am so proud to be a part of it. Thanks a lot.